people of God, people of God, listen, let me tell you something. I just um, was talking to this guy. His back is aching him. Dang, I got a little on my hair. Look puff up on that side. I had to wash my hair. It was itching me. This this guy is so beautiful. Um, people of God, words can't describe it in the camera. Don't do it justice. But listen, <clears throat> I just talking to this guy. His the bottom part of his back, <laughs> the low part where you where it goes into the glutes, is aching him. So he's trying to get some relief in this chair, but it's not doing him justice. Let me tell you something. If y'all having that issue, if any of you are, have a very active life and you don't get to um. Cause you know as we get older <clears throat> our muscles and stuff like they start to deteriorate unless we keep building them up and getting the amount of protein the nutrients that's why i like a lot of natural stuff iris sea moss um moringa i learned from dr cb a lot too i used to follow him for years uh, being a student i got my big my notebook or whatever um, but there's certain minerals and things that our body don't make as they as we get older as <clears throat> They don't make it as much as we used to so you have to take a supplement if you're not eating a full well-balanced meal And I'm I don't always eat full well-balanced meals. Okay, but I do my justice of eating healthy some days I'll discipline my flesh and I'll stop eating certain things Because <clears throat> um, the flesh craves what it wants all the time even with food, right? So listen this guy I was telling him and I'm gonna share this with you guys I'm gonna tell you something when you if you have that muscle in the back I forgot the name of it I don't keep up with the um, you know in school they taught us the skeletal system the muscles and the vertebrae and all the, the tibia the fibia the I forgot all of that when I went to my nursing class <clears throat> for those of you who don't know I was a CNA certified nursing assistant in, in, in the midst of my careers, I would work at the go to the nursing homes and work part time. I love elderly folk. I love spending time with elderly folk, and God had used me in a lot of ways to help them. But <clears throat> I recently I was busy, and I found out I let the thing, the license expire, and I'm not going back to no class. I'm not doing none of that no more. But anyway, listen, I told this guy <clears throat> to get out of that chair, and you can, if you get you a mat, what? What's wrong? Why y'all looking so sad? You get you a mat, and you can do it, and you can keep it. If I don't know what type of job you guys do. If you travel a lot, he said he travels a lot. Keep you a little mat with you, and it's on a nice day like this. Oh, look at the rainbow. <laughs> Be quiet, Mate. It's just a rainbow, baby. That's God's covenant. And this morning, it's 723 right now, AM. This is a rainbow. This is God. Anyway, my day can't get, it can't get nothing but better. Nothing but better. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Oh, glory, look at God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, God. If y'all only know what this thing doing to my soul and what I've been, what God been doing with me and the stuff he been revealing to me, the warfare I've been fighting through. Anyway, let me get to the point of what I made this video for. I keep getting sidetracked. <clears throat> What'd you do with it? Oh, right here. These, they knock stuff down and they want me to get stuff. There you go. So, <clears throat> listen to me, people of God. Let me, boy, what you want? Some of this? Let me get them situated first here. All right. So, if you have issues in your lower part of your back, Get you a mat. Oh, this rainbow looked like it just shifted from the right to the left. Now it's right over here to the left side of me. <clears throat> Get you a mat and lay flat on your back. I know depending on if, you're, if you've got a big Gucci's, Gucci's Maximus, like some women do. Men, y'all, a lot of y'all don't have that problem. A lot of y'all kind of flat. <laughs> but some of y'all got it, junk in the trunk too. That crevice in your back where your vertebrae it might ache a little bit <clears throat> laying flat on your back but what you do is depending on how high your glutes are having your with that gap in your back but you put your knees up see if you can bring your knees up as high as you can and put your feet let your feet stay flat on the floor and take your hips and you just go up you keep your back flat on the floor and you just move your hips up and down, up and down, up and down. And then what you're gonna do in that lower portion of your back, you're gonna feel a burn in all those muscles around it. And you may feel burns right all in your thighs, leading all up to your glutes. All of that will tone your butt. And for you women that like 
that want to curve um want to keep it toned and curved back there then that's good too even if you don't have aches back then your lower back if you want to tone your glutes you can you do that exercise and you'll keep them thighs right baby and you'll keep them glutes toned and brothers y'all can do that too you know if you want to keep keep it toned keep them glutes toned and keep you know <clears throat> them thighs toned y'all can do that too brothers but yeah that is a good exercise that will strengthen that lower portion of your back and loosen up some of that tightness if you have it in the lower portion of your back you know loosen some of it up <clears throat> and so yeah that's what I wanted to share because um, I was just sharing um, with this brother this morning and so I'm like I'm gonna share that with you guys and there are lots of other exercises that you can do in addition to just working out keeping the muscles strong remember the muscles they hold the vertebrae the mus the muscles hold your joints and your ligaments together so sometimes when you feel in pain unless you've been in an accident or somebody you know you've had some blunt trauma could be that could be different your muscle could be stretched a little bit i've experienced that as well <clears throat> but if you didn't have any of that just regular pains and stuff sometimes your muscles do you deteriorate a little bit get a little bit more protein and work yourself out a little more and you'll feel um, some of that pain start to release release and then I had this one friend <clears throat> she used to say oh I got um what was it my, my fibro my gel something like that where the muscles keep aching and aching and getting tight and stuff and I would always tell him you sitting still every day I ate too you know, get to the gym. Oh, it ain't that. My doctor said I got this and this, 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 this. When she started exercising, all that pain that she was having in her stiff muscles from just sitting in the house every day, not moving around, not doing nothing, then the pain starts subsiding. But, hey. Anyway, people of God, have a blessed day. Look at the sun. Oh, my glory, glory, glory. Look at this beautiful. I don't know if, I don't know if y'all can see this. I don't know if the camera do it justice. Look at God. I can, all of this stuff is making me feel good. It's elevating my spirit, my vibrations. <clears throat> even if, even though it's, it's raining, it's starting to rain now. But this is what heals me on the inside. These external factors. This is how I know. The God I serve is real. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <laughs> the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The God of Daniel. Oh, glory. The God of Abraham. The God of Moses. The God of David. People of God, listen. Today can do nothing but get better. Profess it with your mouth. Command your day. Today shall be filled with love, peace, joy, and prosperity. The joy of the Lord is our strength. When, joy, when God it fills your joy people be wondering why they so happy why they smiling all the time and you can go out in the world and you can spread that joy and you can compliment folk you can pay attention to folk give folk some of your attention after I met with that brother I saw this young lady her hair was so beautiful she had locks but they were crinkly and, and her scalp was so pretty she was like oh I twist that I twist it myself I said your hair is so beautiful and she started, she turned and she like, she just, she was happy for that little attention. And she turned and showed me her locks, they're a little shorter than mine. And she started showing me what she does and telling me about her job. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, the style lasts. And she was showing me how you, how she retwist and keep her part straight. I was like, now, I'm a woman. I can do a lot of things. But you know what? Hair is something that I have not been able to do yet. I have not been able to master it. And I don't know if it's because I get frustrated doing my own. Maybe I can do someone else's hair. But she was saying, you need to learn how to do your own hair. You need to learn to do this. And she was just being so helpful. But you'd be surprised the little attention some folk get along your journey, along our journey. We give folk just a little attention. You never know what folk might be dealing with in their heart, in their mind, in their soul. And just that little bit of your energy that you give off a little bit and then keep going about your business you, you're going you're gonna to reap what you sow. <laughs> you're going to reap what you sow. It will come back. You put out positivity. You put out love. 
you it go come back. It, it don't lo always look for it. And this is what I'm learning. Don't look for it and give these people grace and mercy who wasn't able to love you and give you back what you thought they should give you back. They probably didn't know how. That's why you were created for such a time as this. See? Don't look. Don't don't just 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 go with the flow of God. Go with the move of God and then things will start making sense. Everything coming full circle. And forgive folk, keep a forgiving heart, keep a pure heart, you know? But some a lot of things was necessary. You gonna reap what you sow, and it, might, it ain't gonna come back from the people who you think it should come back from. But your life inspired a lot of them people, I'm telling you now. And not only that, some of them probably mad at you. Cause your life, they ain't got no cloak. Remember Jesus said, because I come, if I never came, you would have a cloak, I meaning a cover and a garment for your sin, for your excuse. But see, because I came and I showed you the way, you ain't got no cloak no more to cover up, to hide nothing no more, baby. God exposes it. The Holy Spirit exposes it. Jesus exposes it. The word, the truth, the light. It exposes the darkness and it starts inside of us. And if your light inside of you grow light, you are the salt of the earth. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit, what you doing? You are the salt of the earth, baby. If the, if the, if the, if you, if your salt loses saltiness, what good is that salt? If the light in you be darkness, how great is that darkness? So if you didn't open up that word and you didn't let that light come inside of you and that light then drove out all your darkness, everywhere you go, you, you, <laughs> you the X factor, you the it factor, you the light factor. You are the light of the world. So think it not strange when you walk into a room and your glow up. Remember I did a video about that. Understanding the glow up, the anointing. I need to go back and keep watching some of my stuff so I can feed my spirit. Oh, I fear the joy of the Lord. You see, when you walk into that room, you ain't got to know nobody. Nobody got to know your name. But if there's darkness in that room on anybody, that darkness recognizes you. That's why you can talk to somebody from your heart and you can love them. <clears throat> and you can be feeling their energy, even in a text message now. Darkness can't hide no more. When you, when God doesn't shift you to a new level, a new paradigm, you can text somebody and you can feel that spirit on them. And that person ain't ready to do that work or they just, that light in you is making that spirit on them so uncomfortable. They got to try to be mean to you to get you to go on about your business. Now I love to go on about, or say something to try to cut you. It's that spirit. That's why we got to pray for folk people and keep our light shining. Folk know the help that they need, but they don't know how to express that thing. And the, you, you don't the, the, the way the enemy grips some of these folk, it may be in a way that it could hurt them and folk committing suicide and stuff like that. So we just have to be careful. It's, I know it's a lot to deal with people of God, but let that light shine. Forget all that. Don't try to process it. Let God do it. When God say speak, you speak. When God says shut your mouth and be quiet, we got to shut our mouth and be quiet. When God says expose this and talk about this because you made a mistake on this area, do what thus says the Lord. Keep it real with God. Be honest with God because you're you exposing something, your testimony. Revelations 12, 11. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For the, the, they overcame him. Who is him? Satan. They overcame Satan by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony. Your testimony, the error of your ways could help somebody in what they're dealing with. Now they just need you to keep it real. They just need you to be honest. They just need you to share your testimony and let them know they're not alone in that darkness that they're fighting. They don't have to fear Satan. They don't have to be ashamed. They don't have to hide. Come out from amongst them. Be ye separate. Glory be to God. Part of coming out from amongst them is telling your testimony, is exposing that darkness that once had you gripped because once you expose that darkness you have nothing to do with it that's how you get that spirit up off you oh glory hallelujah what you saying holy spirit what you saying holy spirit oh lord have mercy glory glory oh lord i just hear in the spirit i'm about to start saying glory glory everything is working together for my good that's what i'm hearing everything is working together for our good is good it's good real good <laughs> oh lord everything is working together for our good people of god tunnel vision baby stay focused stay focused tunnel vision tunnel vision tunnel vision stay focused everything is working together for our good 
Oh, glory. Go in peace, child of God. Have a blessed day. And know that if nobody told you they love you yet on this beautiful, marvelous, wonderful Friday morning, know that your sister loves you. You are the light of the world. Don't ever let your light grow dark. Keep shining bright. And know that the blood of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, okay, Savior Joshua, the blood of Jesus is the only blood that has power. Send Jesus' name out in these airways and watch what's going to happen now. Send the blood of Jesus out into the airway. Don't leave Jesus, baby. Don't leave Jesus, baby. The blood of Jesus. What DMX say? You never let us down. Jesus, I know you're here for me now. Jesus. I want to feel, show me how. Come and take my hand and guide me, protect me, hide me. I think the devil's trying to find me. Hold up, wait up. Give me the strength to fight back, you know? So listen, people of God, feed your spirit with what uplifts your spirit. Don't be down. Don't be down. See, let me tell you something. Sitting still, that's how the devil, if the devil, you can't, you can't create your story. You can't be productive if you sit still. What, baby, I gave you? Why you eating all the food from Daniel? You can't keep eating all the food. You need to lose weight too. I'm not trying to offend you. I need to lose weight, okay? You want some water? You gotta give them their water. They can't drink my good water. Here, you want some water? This yours. You want more food? No, get some water. You done ate over half the food from Daniel. And don't pass no gas in this car this morning now. Don't do that. Don't let the devil use y'all to pass no gas in here this morning. All right, listen, people of God. Oh, depression. I needed to say it then because it came back to my spirit. If you sit and still, you're not creating your story. The sister always says something. I hear her voice. You hold the pen that writes the chapter to your life. Make your story a good one. Thank you, sister. Do it, people of God. It's in your hands. The battle starts right here in the mind. You can win it or you can lose it. Right here in the mind. Renew the mind with the word of God. Anything else, all other outside stuff, some of that stuff coming from the spirit of error, I'm telling you now, that spirit of error, it's going to be hard to shake that depression. It's going to be hard to shake that depression and get up and do something productive when you got the spirit of error and you open your soul up to some of these things that our folk, our ancestors done did in the Bible over and over. What The, the reason they throw Abram, Abraham, Abram in that fire was because he destroyed their false God. God is a jealous God. Now, come on now. Come on now. Be ye renewed by the what? Be ye transformed. Excuse me. Thank you. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. How do we renew our mind? With the word of God. Meditate on the word of God day and night. The Lord says, I will keep those in perfect peace. Oh, come on, Holy Spirit, whose mind is stayed on me. See, folk ain't going to understand you when you keep your mind on God. Oh, they always talk about God. Oh, they doing it. Yep, I'm going to keep talking about him to the day I die. Because I need to talk about him. I need to keep renewing my mind. And if you ain't about that life, you're not a part of my tribe. Either I done shifted up, I done shifted up, I'm coming up. Oh, glory. <clears throat> you got to keep your mind. It's going to be hard to shake that spirit. Them spirits off of you when you ain't walking in that power of God. See, that power know the light. The darkness know the light. Life is spiritual, people of God. Life is spiritual, people of God. It's about energy. It's about energy. How you think they know you. How you think these spirits got to make obeisance to you and come out of these people and leave these people alone? How you think it's folk, <clears throat> it's children of God, walking this earth. A lot of people got knowledge, but we got to serve God in spirit and in truth. See, some people coming with that truth. They got a lot of the books, knowledge, and we need that to renew the mind. But that power, that spiritual authority, that come from that Ruach Kakadesh. And your temple got to be pure for them spirits to bow to. You can't cast out devils that you still enjoy playing with. You can't cast out devils that you still enjoy playing with. And they're going to keep coming. They, the devil relentless. But at the end of the day, when that spirit is in you, how you think it's folk walking around healing folk? And you do a, you can do a self-deliverance too. I'm telling you now, it's folk who got the power over darkness. And you wonder, what is this? This ain't even no textbook. You can't find this thing, you know, say, well, you, uh, you, you, you in front of somebody where a demon is speaking at you and this person need help 
you go open a textbook and start. What you gonna read to them? Them demons told them to stop. Them, them men who couldn't catch. They tell them come out in the name of uh, what that those those um, guys that come out in the name of Paul in the name of uh, that demon say Jesus we know Paul we know but who are you? See and then Jesus had to say oh ye when they running them deep that demon beat up them men. <laughs> They know them men were scared, and I know whatever else them men had on the inside of them, that them demons recognized that them men didn't have the spiritual authority to cast them away. See, them demons will speak out at you. They know who we are, people of God, and they don't want to release some people. They don't, just through, just through knowledge. That's why they try to come with this warfare to shut your mouth, because through knowledge shall the just be delivered. And what did happen when them people ran and ran back to Jesus? Jesus said, oh, ye of little faith. How much longer must I be with you? This kind come out by fasting and praying. See, you got to fast and you got to pray. I serve the God with the big G, not the God with the little G. See, the God with the little G was the God that Abraham went and he burned, he burned up. The God with the little G is what some of my ancestors used to constantly bow down and make obeisance to and pray to. And they had no life and no breath in them. See, the God with the big G, he the one that used to come down with like a consuming fire and consume these sacrifices off of these altars. See, that's the God with the big G. The God with the big G <clears throat> was the one that came and, 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 and picked up the spirit of my Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, off that cross. See, and he took him with him. The God of the big G did that. And it was the God with the big G that came and made him rose on the third day. He and the father are one. <laughs> oh, Lord, I go back to my father. In my father's house, there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you, people of God. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Jesus go to prepare a place. But when I leave, I when I go, I leave you. I got to go so the comforter can come back to you. The comforter is the Holy Spirit. He will guide you into all truth. You need not no man teach you. Oh, glory, hallelujah. <clears throat> Call on the Holy Spirit, children of God. Call on the Holy Spirit. Ask God to show me if there's anything in me, God. Search me to know my thoughts. Test me to know my heart. If there be anything in me that is not of you, God, remove it, expose it, drive it out so that I can receive your spirit. When you walk in spirit, people of God, and in truth, you walk in a supernatural authority and no demon in hell can come against you. They know who you are. They know who you are. You understand me? You got to serve God in spirit and in truth. And the only way to get to God is through the Savior, the one and only Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach. I live and I tell you, I judge no religion, but I study with all of them. I read the books. The only one and true living God is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God that delivered Daniel out of that lion's den. The God of Joseph. The God of Mary. I'm living to tell you some of the people of God. When people come against you in a supernatural way, even when you're sick in your body, you can lay hands on yourself and pray for you, and I promise you will recover. The Lord told me some sickness. I was when I told y'all I was feeling bad with this head cold, I, just, I don't get sick. I don't never get sick. And I, I kept feeling bad. I kept taking vitamin C, Tylenol, my moringa, my natural stuff. Nothing was working. It didn't happen until I thought I took my communion one night. And oh, baby, yes, I do still partake in the Lord's Supper. I take the blood of Jesus. I, I eat the bread of Jesus. Just like the demonic kingdom do their rituals and stuff. Let me tell you something. It's power. You ain't got to be in no church and in no building to do it. You can order you some unleavened little crackers, a little cup, and you can repeat the Father's prayer. Jesus said, this is my body. He broke it. He gave thanks to the Father. Thank you, Yahweh. He said, this is my body. Take it. He gave it to his disciples. He said, take, eat. As often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. So therefore, I eat the body of Christ. Then he took the wine. He gave thanks to Yeshua to Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. He said, this is my blood. And he distributed it to the disciples. He said, take it and drink it. As often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. What can make me white as snow? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cleanses. The blood of Jesus heals. You understand me? See, don't nobody got to know what you do behind closed doors. Get right with God. That's why your life is sealed. But what was I, <laughs> what was I saying, people of God? Listen to me. <clears throat> People of God, I forgot what I was saying, but listen, I guess what I needed to say came out. 
Stick with God. Stick with Jesus. Let your soul be purified. That Holy Spirit will come and dwell on the inside of you. God, the Holy Spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit will correct us. The Holy Spirit will teach us. The Holy Spirit will, 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 will help us peak game. People can't play you like they used to play you. That's why sometimes you need to be by yourself, though there can be no contamination. Some people will know the Holy Spirit is on you. They will try to confuse your thinking and make you second guess what the what the Holy Spirit is leading you. And I guess I'm learning that's a part of gaslighting. I heard several sisters, I heard all three of you say that, and I'm learning. I never knew that was gaslighting, okay? <clears throat> so stick with God, people of God, and believe what you are discerning, what you are feeling. Stay in tune with the Holy Spirit. That's why God needs us by ourselves sometimes. Oh, glory, hallelujah. Listen, I done poured out enough now. I got to get off of here and get some of my energy back. <laughs> I got to get off here and praise, all right? The blood of Jesus is the only blood that has power. You understand me? I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you something now. <laughs> you are the apple of his eye. You special. I, this lady told me the other day, that I had to do business with. She said, oh, I, I got to put a star beside your name because I'm, I, I didn't see him. I had to keep an eye on you. I said, yeah, go ahead, put a star beside my name because I'm special. I'm different. You different chosen people of God. <laughs> you ain't crazy. You just different. You something that the world never seen before, but you was created. You were created, oh glory, hallelujah, for such a time as this. You were created for such a time as this. Stay about your father's business. Be about your father's business. And see, they, whatever folks circulated your name for, when they come in your presence, they're going to feel you ain't about no games. You ain't playing no game. They feel that presence of God on you. It's rare now. And some people will tell you, oh, you got a big aura. It be the main one. Watch some of them people. Some of the same people that came and told me that were some of the same people that tried to break me. What, what, what you seeing on me? What you see on me? See, they know you good. They know who you are. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you something. But everybody who done come across your path that ain't got a whiff of that light, they ain't never going to forget you. God used you to give them a second chance. God used you to test some of these people's hearts. God used you to show them the way. Not saying you perfect, but by you walking in that truth and you working out your salvation and people getting a seat and you ain't hiding or you being as real and authentic as you are. You showing up for life every day, letting people see the good, the bad, the ugly, the happy, the sad, the the tomato, tomatoes, green beans, ham, all. Oh, come on, Shirley. You name it. <laughs> Listen, by you showing up, shining that light, <clears throat> you helping folk. Even some of them enemies. So keep a pure heart. That's God to always search you. I know sometimes it don't make you feel good. You get you get tired, man. You get tired of being nice to folk who being mean to you. You get tired of speaking to folk who don't who too mean and don't want to speak back. You get nice. You get tired of being quiet, not telling the full story of what you can really tell. Cause it, it's folk who really they ain't really care about the truth. They just care about mess. Cause that's that spirit that's on them. Misery, misery, love, company. You get tired of taking your baseball bat hitting them balls out in the park be like nope let me stay focused your arm get tired sometimes but let me tell you get to that gym and strengthen that arm you get to that gym and you strengthen this arm <laughs> oh strengthen this arm whichever arm be too busy to be in mess be too busy to follow up with their gossip be too busy make yourself busy and i promise you every time you look up you might hear your name and you'll be like, I don't even talk to them people. I don't even know them. But guess what? You'll be climbing. You'll be at a new part of that mountain. And they're going to still keep getting mad. They get mad when they see you happy. Y'all hear me while I say no video. They get mad when they see you happy. They get mad when they see them pretty white teeth. And my mirror guard then gave me a secret to make my teeth even whiter. Oh, baby, they about to get real mad now because them teeth about to be more whiter this morning, this, this summer. Y'all going to see the little ching ching diamond when you. <laughs> <laughs> oh glory hallelujah the joy of the lord is our strength this joy that i have the world didn't give it to me this joy that i have oh glory the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away baby nothing but the blood of jesus <clears throat> all right listen I'm, i didn't, I didn't give y'all 30 minutes almost Nah, I need my time back. I can't get that time back. I can't get this 30 minutes back. You understand me? Why well, I'ma do with two more kids anime? That what I told Tina in that movie. Why well, I'ma do with two more kids anyway? That ain't made no sense. But I can't get this 30 minutes back. 
So you better enjoy it. <clears throat> you better appreciate this 30 minutes. And you better start bringing something to the table now. You got to bring something to this table because you can't eat off my plate. You can't eat off my plate. God prepared a table before me. And I'm going to sit and I'm going to eat everything that's on my plate. And you, if you, if he prepared a table for you, you can come and sit. You can bring your plate and sit at my table sometime. And, and we can eat off. You eat off your plate. I eat off my own plate. But um, you can't eat off my plate now. How does it feel? How does it feel, people of God? Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. We quote that scripture, but when you sit down at that table, you letting them make you feel bad for sitting down at that table? How it feel now? You trying to hide stuff so that you don't, you, you, you know how they gonna feel when they see you sitting at that table? That ain't your problem. Think about it. That's something to think about. How does it feel to sit down at that table? Are you, do you care about what they think about you? <laughs> I'm asking myself these questions too now. <clears throat> you know how they feel. They never wanted you to even make it to the table. How you feel sitting out at that table? Let me get off here because one thing will keep leading to the nettle. And me being a woman I am, we talk, talk, talk. But see, that's the difference. That's the good thing between the yin and the yang. Men is are good. A lot, not all men. But a lot of men, some of the friends that I've connected with are good listeners. See? <clears throat> so that's the yin to the yang. But anyway, let me get off of here. 31 minutes now. I can't get that time back. Y'all have a blessed day. Know that your sister loves you. You are the light of the world. Don't ever let your light grow dark. They trying to crack your code, chosen one. They just can't crack your code. They can't figure you out. Keep showing up for life. Don't They ain't got to figure you out. Keep showing up for life. Let God figure you out. Let God keep vindicating you, all right? Have a blessed day. Your sister loves you. The blood of Jesus, Yeshua, is the only blood that has power. Love you, people of God.